The question here is, two charges Q1 and Q2 are placed at A and B, which are 30 centimeters apart, and the third charge Q3 is moved from C to D along a circular path, and this distance is given to be 40 centimeter. So we have to find the change in potential energy of the system. So see, we can do it intelligently like this. Now first thing, which are the formulas? The formulas here will be formula number 9 and 10. Potential energy of two charges and potential energy of more than two charges. As I explained in the video where I had discussed about formula 9 and 10, if you have not watched the video where I have explained the formulas 9 and 10, please watch that video which is class 2 of formulae and important points of electrostatics. Then you watch this solution. Then, then it will become very easy for you to understand. So let me proceed. Let's say Q1 is the first charge we have brought here in this area. So potential energy of Q1 is 0. Next, let's say Q2 is the second charge we have brought to this point. So now Q2 will have some potential energy. Right? So the potential energy of the whole system will be potential energy of Q1 plus potential energy of Q2 which will be equal to the potential energy of Q2 because this is 0. Right? Now, say Q3 is the third charge we bring to this point. So now the potential energy of the whole system will change. Now when we move this Q3 from C to D, the potential energy of the whole system will again change. So you have to find the difference in potential energy between this configuration and this configuration. Right? Now see, let's use some common sense. Let's be smart in solving this problem. From the initial configuration and the final configuration, the only change is for the charge Q3. Position of Q1 and Q2 does not change. So total potential energy of Q1 and Q2 does not change. But the potential energy of Q3 will change. Okay. Now note that Q3 is at a distance of 40 cm at point D also it is at a distance of 40 cm because it is a circular arc that means potential energy of Q3 due to Q1 will remain constant whether it is at position C or it is at position D clear I repeat again potential energy of Q3 due to Q1 will remain same whether it is at C or it is at D. But the potential energy of Q3 due to Q2 at C will be different than the potential energy of Q3 at D because this distance is different than this distance. This is shorter, this is longer. Okay, and as I said before, in both the configurations, that is initial configuration and final configuration, potential energies of Q1 and Q2 remain same. So that means change in potential energy, change in potential energy of the system is only because of change in potential energy of Q3 at this position and this position. Okay, so let's do the calculations now. Potential energy at the final position for Q3 due to Q2 will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q2 into Q3 divided by this distance. So this is 40 centimeter, this is 30 centimeter. So this will be around 10 centimeter. So the 10 centimeter means 0 0.1 meter. Okay?
this is the potential energy at this position from the final configuration if we subtract the potential energy at this position so minus again it will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q2 into q3 so what we can do is instead of writing it here we can write it here q2 q3 we can put a bracket 1 minus this minus 1 by this distance distance between b and c this is 30 centimeter this is 40 centimeter so this will be 50 centimeter using pythagoras theorem so 50 centimeter means 0 0.5 meter so this is the new potential energy this is the final potential energy this into this is the initial potential energy now if you solve it this remains the same q3 q2 q3 4 pi epsilon naught this becomes 10 this becomes 2 so this becomes 8 so if you compare it with here if i take q3 here 4 pi epsilon naught then q2 goes here it becomes 8 q2 so this 8 q2 is equal to k and if we look at the options this is option a understood so if you do it this way you don't have to do lot of calculations the calculation become very simple it will take you one minute or less than that but to be able to use this approach your concept has to be very clear you must be able to analyze the problem to realize that the potential energy of this does not change the potential energy of q2 does not change only potential energy of q3 changes clear usually what people do is they write the potential energy of the initial configuration and they write the potential energy of the final configuration then they subtract if you want to see how that is done let me do it see potential energy of the final configuration what will it be so potential energy of q1 that is 0 plus potential energy of q2 due to q1 so that will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 divided by AB, AB is 0 0.3 plus potential energy of Q3. Now Q3 is here. I'm writing the potential energy of the final configuration. So Q3 is here. So for Q3, potential energy of Q3 due to Q1, that will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q3 divided by 40. So this is centimeter 0 0.4 plus potential energy of q3 due to q2 so 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q2 q3 divided by this which is 0 0.1 so this is the final potential energy from there we have to subtract so minus let me clear it up minus initial potential energy which is potential energy of q1 which is 0 plus potential energy of q2 which is again this so 1 by 4 pi epsilon not let me put a bracket here into q1 q2 by 0 0.3 plus potential energy of q3 due to q1 which is this because the distance is 40 so 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q1 q3 by 0 0.4 plus potential energy of q3 due to this so that is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q2 q3 divided by 0 0.5 this is the complete equation now if you see 0 to obviously none this cancels out with this this cancels out with this 
This is a positive quantity, this is a negative quantity. What is left is this. So what we get? We get the equation I had written straight away. So change in potential energy of Q3 between the final configuration and initial configuration. Right? I think you have understood now completely. So try to use your intelligence to solve a problem smartly so that it takes you less time, you need to do less calculations 